Okay. Um. So, I'm a long time Pokemon fan, although I'm not as um, huge of a fan of Pokemon nowadays. Uh, and what I've actually never done is I've never done a dust luck. So, uh, I think in you know 20 to 30 minute installments, I'm going to attempt to do a, a Nuzlocke appendable. I think that's like one of the more popular um, uh, one of the more popular Nuzlocke's. Now I will I will say just for clarity's sake, I do have um, I do I do play by the rule of um, I just put rare candies on because it, it's 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 very frustrating to just it's like every time you have to like level up a new Pokemon that you get and it's like oh instead of getting um, you know going and grinding on level two Pidgeys or whatever it's like well screw that I'm just going to. Um, It's like, I'm, cause it's like, I, if every time I get a new Pokemon, I've got to go and get, you know, a bunch of stuff, um, then I'm just, you know, I'm not into that sort of thing. Like every time, every time I, I get a new Pokemon, I've got to grind, you know, to freaking whatever. Uh, um, whatever the current level is. It's like, you know, just give me the Pokemon, I'm going to do it. Uh, I don't have to figure out how to do it um but if i catch a pokemon that has to be like traded to evolve i don't know which if any there are in here i think technically abra is in here um i don't know about like gengar Machamp or anything like that but yeah, if it's a if it's a tradable pokemon then i will basically hack to the evolved form of that because i don't think it's it just doesn't make sense like if that's the one like, that i that i catch and like it's So like I definitely will. Um, yeah, I definitely will do that. Uh, other than that, I played with pretty standard hardcore Nuzlocke rules. I've, I've, I've made a couple attempts, like half-hearted, but I've never really tried seriously. Um, I am playing this blind-ish because I'm not. I'm playing with. I'm playing with Spencer Cows, but I have played it. A few amount of time, so I have like a general idea of what to expect. Um, but yeah, the standard hardcore things I do is I play. Um, I do have to put this into uh, set Battle. No. I am probably going to play with Swampert because I, I think this is this is genuinely like it's unequivocally like the best book. The fact that it's used in that says that says quite a lot right there. You know. Um, I, oh, I will say this: the only thing that I'll be using in terms of like information is my um, like the boss, so that I can send the boss. 
bosses, eight gym trainers, and uh, lots of good food. For instance, so the pool would be like Roxanne's level 15, but her name's passive. That's her, that's her top level Pokemon, so I would be allowed to get my Pokemon up to uh, up to level 15 before fighting before fighting against her. So my nickname that I use for almost every game ever is Sir Wallace, Sir, whatever. Um, and so I'm gonna try and name all of my Pokemon basically after, after that. But yeah, I'm not cons I don't consider rival fights, and I don't consider um, like Magma, Tamako or Magma as um, fights. I also will not start my catch rule until after getting Pokeballs, obviously. It would make sense. Set mode, no items in battle, um, no over leveling. I'm gonna die because it's the one point of damage. But I am trying to play this basically with no scripts, no calcs. Um, I don't have like an in depth knowledge of the AI. I know that there's like a general interest to it. And like I said, I haven't played this game before, but I've never played a lot of this game before actually. But I've never beaten it. I've never beaten any game. not bad, but it does mean that our, like, our earth moves are going to be weaker, but it's our water moves are going to be, are going to stay pretty strong, and our speed is going to be up, so hopefully we'll be able to up speed, and we'll do some kind of things. Uh, let's definitely heal. Basically gonna like this is gonna be like a continuous video, ideally. Um. Yeah, I'm 
I'm not even gonna play with, um, I'm not even gonna play with, like, with, like, um, like a map. Like, I know a lot of people play with, like, a map of encounters, so they're like, oh, there's these two here, and this one also exists over here, so I'm gonna go catch it on this route or this route. Um, like, I'm literally just, I'm gonna play this game completely blind. Um, I'm gonna get, like, a, a fight. Um, I'm gonna get, like, a fight. by the way, is that, um, like, the Pokemon cannot be above the level cap of the fight before starting. So for, like, the Elite Four, um, I do the, the highest level of, like, the ace, um, like, the, the, the last one or something. Drake, I think is his name. So, like, Drake's ace is Salamence. So whatever Salamence level is, that would be the cap that I would put on myself. If you've ever watched, if you've ever watched a horror game, it's like, I'm going to be a challenge, I'm going to be a challenge. So that is this route's cap. To do, I wanted to do a game that I was like at least somewhat familiar with, and like, I probably intend to have some fun doing like contacts with the same thing. So maybe like, probably not straight into like Emerald Kaizo, because I think that is still kind of the, like the daddy of, of you know, those lock things. But maybe like, I think, uh, what is it? Um, there's a couple, like, I just can't think.
Okay, so we're gonna put the playing with speeches clause. So like this is the count.
it certainly doesn't like invalidate the Brawly fight. Like it's not like, oh yeah, you have Waltz, you win. It, it definitely will make the Brawly fight much easier. I think the other, uh, the other Pokemon that I would be looking for in this instance, uh, would be either like a Wingle would be fine. I think a Taylor would be would be ideal for the Brawly fight. I mean, for for Roxanne, I could literally just water down. Timid is not like a perfect nature. I would say that like I don't even know. I mean, Swampert's pretty slow, like to begin with. So it's not like, the first thing to get like a speed down nature. I'm trying to remember like I think like special attack up, speed down is probably is pretty good. Um, it's not it's not terrible to have to have attack down. Um, this attack set is already pretty high. So it's not, um, it's not to have the attack set. Sorry, shouldn't have talked to you. <laughs> Or a silver or whatever. Um, or 
or Silicon Cascade, but then, like, you still have to keep in mind. Or Sweet. And because... Because I want to catch a Shroomish. I'm gonna... I'm, I'm gonna... I'm gonna count this as, like, an all-inclusive of this line. Um... Just so I don't have to catch it again. Because I don't know if there's another place to catch. I should have done Prince and Princess next, but eh. I don't need any more encounters here. Any, I think the only like besides your starter, I think the only like stagnant encounter, whatever you want to call it, um, is like castle. Like there's not a lot of instances. I think there's people that trade with you. Like I can't remember. I, I do. I certainly do not know everything about this game. I know like a fair bit, but I don't. Know, like,
sense of like Zealous with the rare candy, and then you end up leveling somebody up to like 16 or something. You know what I mean? Oh, it's probably because I've got a.
I just realized Shroomish is not in the party. I don't avoid like all fights, and obviously there are trainers that are like mandatory. Like when I fight those, I fight you know, the grunts and the bag people. It, it, it's just like it's it's so tedious, especially if you've played the game a bunch of times. It's so tedious to go and fight like every trainer and then do a bunch of grinding on wild Pokemon just to end up. Like just, just do the, just do the rare candies. It's, it's way better. And it would be my recommendation to anybody out there, by the way, who is interested in, in, in this life. Just, just hack some rare candies into your game. Call it a day. Because if you don't do it, you just, you're just, it's, you're gonna hate it. It sucks. Genuinely, I have no idea why I'm using rare candies on this thing, but I'm gonna. I, I always. I mean, it's like if I have it, I feel like I might as well have it. You know what I mean? And then whatever. If I make a misplay, or if I forget about something, or if I get blown up, or whatever. It's like you know, there's no point in not having six Pokemon, right? I think I'm literally gonna put it in the box for now, though. Um, actually, I don't have the name of the box. For now, I'll go with, I think I'll go with like Talo Shrimpish. Yeah, I'm gonna say, maybe this will be maybe I'll take it to Brawly, I don't know, right? I mean, Thank you. 